Welcome back, everybody, and welcome to Connect 2021. Our next tech talk this morning comes from Kentech Electronics, one of the world's leading manufacturers in life safety solutions. Founded in 1985, Kentech is an end-to-end -end manufacturer with everything sold made in the UK. It employs approximately 240 members of staff in its production facility, head office and research and development department. Early warning fire systems and detection technology can detect a fire. And in the case of um, an extinguishment detection, it can also automatically release a fire suppression, a suppression agents. <laughs> need to put my teeth back in this morning. Fire suppression agent to eliminate fire within seconds. Stopping a fire within the first few moments um, can reduce or avoid damage to equipment and assets and subsequent loss of operational productivity. In addition to design and manufacture, Kentech provides technical support specified to local standards and customer requirements of over 90 countries worldwide. With a commitment to meeting the needs of individual national markets, Kentech has achieved a global reputation, resulting in its life safety systems being installed in numerous prestigious sites across the world. After the presentation, I'll be joined by Derek Hall, Director of Sales, and Phil Barton, Commercial Product Manager, to answer your questions live. Enjoy. Hello and welcome to Kentech Electronics. My name is Derek Hall and I'm the Director of Sales. So let me tell you a little bit about Kentech. We're one of the world's leading fire safety solutions manufacturers of conventional and addressable fire detection and extinction control panels. We were founded in 1985, and Kentech has been part of the Achiki Corporation Group since October 2012. We have now established ourselves as a leading international business, serving customers in over 90 countries across a variety of verticals and applications. So what is Sigma ZXT? I must point out, first of all, it's not a replacement of the very successful Sigma XT panel. This is a premium product in the Kentec range and it's been developed to satisfy some of the market requirements where some of the newer features in ZXT enabled us to continue and expand with it and grow our very successful range of extinguishment products. The XT panels are recognised as a global leading extinguishment control panel. We kind of don't know for, for certain how many are installed in the field but we do know we've manufactured over 100,000 of these units already. So this is the first of a new generation of extinction release panels for Kentec. It includes an updated version of the status unit and indication units, and also ancillary products to fully support the system. The important thing to get across is that it's fully backward compatible with the existing devices from the XT range. So if you've got an existing system installation, the status units and the buttons and the indicators will all work with the new range of ZXT panels. Kentech actually has been working on the ZXT panel for in excess of three years. So within our R&D facility, we developed this product based on the market requirements, but also on the foundation of the reliability of the XT panel. So the initial testing of the product before it even went to LPCB for certification was between six months and a year. Um, we actually introduced um, ZXT into about six or seven um, very trusted partners within the UK and they tested the product for over six months. Our second phase of release, we've now opened it up to over 20 installation partners. So we're extremely confident that when you as the customer get your hands on this product, you're going to be enjoying the really great new features, but also the trusted reliability from Kentech Extinction Panel. So before we've done, actually done the full launch, the product has already been in the field for just over a year. And we have many great examples of where this product's been installed in some very highly critical situations. So what is NXT used for? I mean, there are many, many applications that um, make this an ideal product. But essentially, it's designed to provide rapid extinction of a developing fire without human intervention. It's used in high critical and risk areas, areas of high asset value or historical interest. 
It's where fast response to developing fire is, is time critical to help extinguish the fire and protect the property, assets, or the data. To give you an example, electrical switch rooms, data centers, telecoms, control rooms, transformer vaults, archive storage facilities. And increasingly, we're seeing these panels being used in um, power generation, so for wind turbine applications and also energy storage solutions. Now I'm going to hand over to Phil Barton, who's our product manager for ZXT. Hi, my name is Phil Barton and I'm the commercial product manager for Kentech Electronics. One of the key features of our panel is the new dynamic LCD. So the dynamic LCD is designed to change colour to provide an easy visual indication to users and engineers of what the status of the panel is, uh, which access level it's in, whether it's an alarm, first stage alarm, second stage alarm, or whether the gas has been released. We have three user level passcodes which allow us to control who has access and will allow us to lock who accessed the panel and when, which is quite unique in conventional panels. So one of the first stage sounders on the Sigma ZXT, Sounder S2, can be reconfigured to become a second extinguishing output to support the first extinguishing output that's there as default. It gives us advantages in two ways. We can either operate the extinguishing outputs in a common mode, so therefore two extinguishing outputs operating the same set of gas cylinders. The alternative option is to configure them as main and reserve. With the main or reserve system, the user will have two sets of cylinders, a main system which is connected under normal circumstances and a reserve set of cylinders identical to the main ones which can be switched in and operated and get the system up and running again as quickly as possible, reducing the amount of downtime and lack of protection on the user's site. The Sigma ZXT is compatible with all the existing accessories we're familiar with with the Sigma XT range of control panels. So it's backward compatible with the existing states indicators and also the ancillary output board, which can be fitted inside the panel or a remote, providing additional status relay outputs for the extinguishing system. Extinguishing hold and abort buttons on this Sigma ZXT, again, this is unique over the XT panel. We have both extinguishing and hold abort circuits on the Sigma ZXT. So the extinguishing hold allows us a temporary delay in the countdown while the hold button is activated. This allows time for people to clear the area prior to a gas release, making sure everybody is clear and safe. Once the hold button is released, the gas countdown will then commence and gas will be released at the end of the countdown. With the abort button, this will stop the countdown completely. Once the abort has been done, the countdown will stop and it will remain stopped. The panel would then need to be reset to go back to its normal condition. If the panel is still in alarm. Once the panel is reset, it will go back through its whole first stage, second stage extinguish and release process. As with all control panels, the Sigma ZXT extinguishing system provides all free changeover relay outputs to be able to signal its status to other equipment, either main fire control panel, alarm receiving centers, to notify individuals when an alarm is active or when a fault condition is present so they can then deal with it and respond accordingly. The advantage with the Sigma ZXT is we have six relays in there as default and they are allocated to conditions such as fire, fault, release, hold, abort. However, these can be configured through the engineering access menu to change the function of those relays, making the panel flexible enough to fit whatever the user requires. So as we said, the LCD on the ZXT provides us a lot of information to the end user on the status of the panel. If there's a fault condition, it will provide details of that fault condition, whether it's a zone open circuit, short circuit, or any other 
how it evolved conditions such as a battery feel or a person might feel. One of the additional features on this panel is being able to log those events for historical record. With conventional detection systems and particularly extinction systems, when a system has been operated either maliciously or in anger, the events leading up to that were not always visible. So what we've added to the Sigma ZXT panel is a full 1000 event log, which will give us all that information to tell us what the sequence of events were prior to a fault condition or an alarm condition. So when it comes to doing an investigation, we have all the details to provide to the end user, the insurance companies as to what happened during that event. So although the event log is vis visible on the screen, we can actually also download the event log. And again, one of the new features with the ZXT and, and unique to, again, to a conventional panel is we have made it compatible with our current LE2 configuration software, which we use for our addressable panels, such as Tactis and Synchro ES. By connecting LE2, a laptop running LE2, we can download that event log information and save it or print it to be held for our historical records. And we can, be go, we can go back to it at any time. So we've talked about the panel outputs. The Sigma ZXT also has a number of panel inputs, which are monitored inputs to make sure that we uh, can monitor the status of the wire in the circuit for open or short circuit faults. And these will cover things like the hold and abort circuits, uh, pressure switches for release pressure switches and low pressure switches to let us know whether the gas cylinders are full or empty or if the gas has been released. Also things like the mode of the panel, whether it's in auto manual or manual only function. So in manual only function, it will not operate from automatic detection. It can only be operated from the manual release push button on the panel or any of the states indicators or by a manual release call point attached to the manual release circuit within inside the panel. Within the panel, there are also two non-monitored inputs, which require a zero volt to be applied to activate. And these again are configurable. And these can be used to activate things like manual turning on of an extract output. They can be used for remote disablement, remote reset, um, as well as many other features within that uh, configuration setup. So as you can see, the panel configuration is, is very flexible. So to summarize with all the new features we've added into the Sigma ZXT, such as the dual extinguishing outputs, event log, programmable relays, dynamic LCD, we believe at Kentec we've provided a product that will enhance the already well-established Kentec extinguishing range with the Sigma XT and carry off customize into the future. Okay, back to you, Derek. So now you've found out about ZXT and all of the exciting features from Phil. So I think you'll see that the ZXT is a fantastic opportunity for our installers and our partners and our distributors. It's ready to purchase. So please be in contact with uh, your local BDM and they can help you with um, supply of the product and also helping you with your engineers to get trained and competent on this exciting new ZXT panel. Thanks again for listening, and we welcome any opportunity to answer any questions that you have. Welcome back everybody and welcome to the live Q&A. Don't forget, post your questions in the top right hand tab and it's my pleasure to be joined live by Phil and Derek. Hello chaps, how are you doing? Hi Joe, good thanks. Great to see you. Okay, so I've got questions coming in now. Are the changes to the status um, unit simply aesthetic or have they received other updates? The change to the status unit is largely aesthetic, which allows us to make it backward compatible with the existing product range of the XT. So yeah, it is largely an aesthetic change. Okay, great stuff. So are there any um, extinguishing agents that you would advise not to use with the ZXT? No, not at all. I think that um, all of the existing agents that have been working on the XT panel, it's a straight swap out with a ZXT if you want to. They all work the same. 
Oh, great stuff. So can they purchase a ZXT directly from Kentech? Yeah, we've got um, multiple routes to market. So we have um, an existing um, Kentech authorised distributor network. So the product can be purchased through our distributors and um, for our direct customers um, straight to Kentech. Oh, great stuff. So um, I think you've kind of answered this already within that question, but just to double check and make sure, do I need to be a Kentech installation partner to purchase the ZXT? No, not at all. Um, I say this product goes through distribution. We have a, um, a really well-established um, distribution network. Um, obviously, we have some direct customers and they'll continue to buy it directly for us. Great stuff. So where would these panels usually be installed? Any kind of common places that you've seen? Well, it's the typical applications um, associated with data centres and telecommunications rooms, um, switch rooms. Um, one of the really big um, markets for us at the moment is actually in energy storage solutions and, um, and combined with uh, um, wind turbine. So, um, yeah, really exciting industry to be um, involved with. And, um, and the ZXT panel is uh, a great uh, product for that application. Is that something new to the company then? Uh, we've always done it with the XT panel, um, but uh, it seems to be that the world is going for, very much towards green energy. And uh, obviously the, 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 the demand for um, green energy through wind turbine or solar is act actually um, creating much bigger activity in the energy storage uh, uh, market. So we've got customers all around the world that are an eagerly anticipating us to launch the ZXT panel because of the additional features. Oh, that's great news, isn't it? So is there a Kentex suppression system control panel um, that have output signal to shut down a fire damper and ventilation fan directly in the event of a fire? We have a number of really outputs in the panel which allow us to signal status to other equipment such as the main fire alarm panel, um, vent control systems, extract fans, and they can all be configured inside the panel to meet the requirements of that site so yeah if they want to have a shutdown of a particular bit of equipment then we can provide a really output to do that so th this person's asked ul approval timeline question mark so i presume you know what that means <laughs> we do yes great <laughs> <laughs> the, the ul is the american uh, standard so uh, as we said we sell these panels around the world but for the but uh, a lot of the markets middle east and america parts of Asia, they require an American standard. Um, we've initially launched or launched in the EN version, but the UL version is in progress. Um, unfortunately, as regards timeline, we're, we're sort of held by the approvals bodies a bit on that and their availability. So we can't give a timeline, accurate timeline at the moment. Watch this space. So, so it's this a little market for us. So uh, we're trying to accelerate it as quickly as we can. Absolutely. Um, so is the solution third party certified? It's third party certified by BRE to meet the required sta EN standards of EN54 part two for the detection uh, side of the panel, EN54 part four for the power supply and EN12094-1 for the extinguishing controller side of the panel. Um, so thank you. So is um, can it support all the extinguishing agents, suppression systems, and can be compatible to monitor their parts, operation and condition? Yeah, as we said, it, it, it's based around you know, the, 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 the standards for extinguishing panels because of the risk involved are very strict. So we have to make sure, yes, we provide all of those controls to be able to monitor things like the pressure switches, the solenoid outputs that are going to release the gas at the right time. Um, and that is all built into the panel. So all of those outputs and inputs that are required are in the panel as default. So again, Joe, with the, um, the different agents that the panel can work with, it would be the clean agents, the inert gases, uh, um, it will be CO2, it will be um, even water deluge systems to a degree. Yeah, so, um, and the other one, which is we see more and more of is um, aerosol um, agents. So it's fully compatible with them. Great stuff. So can this be built into a special enclosure like the Sigma XT? Well, we think it's very special already, but um, <laughs> the great thing about Kentec is that uh, you know, our factory is based in Dartford and, and our customers come to us because they get the flexibility 
from from this from Kentech as a manufacturer because we can build the, the panel any size, any depth, and yeah. we have additional functions and controls on it if required. It may well take it outside of the uh, the EN54 Part Two standards. We have lots of customers that um, come to us for bespoke panels. It's standard. We have three variants. So the one you can see on the screen is the larger box, which allows to have a bigger power supply and larger batteries in it. We do a smaller version which will have a smaller power supply and allows for smaller batteries. So even in our standard range, we have three different versions that should meet most of the requirements. Uh, so <laughs> someone said, interesting stuff, Phil. Greetings from Barcelona, from Jose Manuel. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Jose Manuel. <laughs> I love that you've got... Oh, I thought it was one of your fans. Uh, it could be, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't spoken to him for a while. <laughs> Oh, reuniting people with Connect Fantastic. 2021. Love it. <laughs> um, you might have already um, partly answered this, so apologies. So could it be integrated with other monitoring systems as building management system monitoring? The panel is a, is a base panel that gives really outputs. However, we do have other products we can put into the panel, which will allow it to interface to uh, things like BACnet or BMS, building management type systems. Okay, great. So what kind of training is available on the panel? Okay, that's so really important for Kentech and um, we, throughout our installation partner program, um, we've also extended this particular product to our distributors and their customers. And we have um, ZXT Tuesday. So um, for our customers around the world, they can all come in on the, um, on the webinar training on a Tuesday. And uh, it doesn't matter if we have um, five people, if we have four, we have 500 people, they all get um, some great training from the technical support team. And, uh, and uh, we're looking forward to our customers getting on board and um, enjoying the experience of this fantastic right. new product. I think so far every course has been fully booked. So. Oh, great stuff. So in the future, will you put that on demand then so people can watch it in their own time or? Yeah, we're breaking most of our technical training courses into um, bite-sized chunks on the video. So, um, you know, we get, we get a lot of um, frequently asked questions and um, we are taking those into uh, um, these uh, um, video clips and, uh, you know, just trying to give all of our installers the opportunity to learn when they've got the time rather than you know, the, the school timetable, which is four o'clock on a Tuesday, for example. Yeah, that, well, it's, it's the future, isn't it? So are there multi-area options with the ZXT available? Not at this moment in time. The ZXT has been launched as a single area uh, control panel, and we will still have the XT Plus range, which is our current multi-zone area panel. Um, features of development, you know, we have the potential to expand the ZXT into those areas, yes, uh, but not at the moment. Okay. So how will the panel be programmed? Only at the panel or also via LET software? It can be programmed by either. So we have the LCD on there, which allows us to be able to display the menu options that can be used to configure the panel. So you can configure the panel through the front screen, providing you have the engineer's password. Uh, otherwise, you can use the LET software, the same software that we use with our uh, addressable fire panels, and that can allow you to take downloads of information from the panel to save them uh, historically, uh, things like the event log, and it will also allow you to download configurations in. So you could preset your programming in LE2 and then just connect LE2 and download that preset configuration into the panel. Yeah, we, we, we haven't deviated too far from the, uh, the Sigma XD panel in the sense that uh, we know that our customers really like the product because when you take it out of the box, it works. Which is great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to continue on then. I was like, <laughs> but what, yeah. else, what else do you need? You just need it to work. I say customers like our own XD panel because um, they don't have to do a lot of uh, um, training and then they don't have to do a lot of configuration of the panel to make it work. That's what I should say. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Um, so how is the availability of other languages? So front and LCD menu, for example. So we, we've took a slightly different approach to languages with the ZXT than we have with uh, some of our other panels. So 
for the for one of the main things we're looking at initially is providing um, language overlays for the for the main LEDs that you see here. Um, so they'll be sold as a language pack. They'll be available. Uh, we're working on those, and, and as soon as possible, we will start to see those, some of those languages come through. Where it comes to the LCD, we will be looking at languages for the LCD as well. Uh, that obviously takes a little bit more work and a little bit more involvement. And for some, unfortunately, for some languages where they have particularly awkward characters, we may not be able to translate the LCD, but we will certainly be providing the language pack for the, for the main version. So with the initial launch, we'll have um, 15 or 16 language packs, which is predominantly um, the European languages. And, um, and then we'll be working on the, uh, the LCD display to come up with, um, um, no, to support those 15 or 16 languages. And that will be programmable in the future via the LE2 software. Great. Well, um, greetings from Berlin. Thanks, Phil. And thanks, Derek. Looking forward to the German one. There you go, there's a message for you. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. It, it won't be long before we get the BDS approval. That's the, that's the question they're going to be asking. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so how closely does the panel need to be installed to the extinguisher unit it's connected to? The, um, the extinguisher unit, I mean, the panels are generally installed outside of the area they're protected because you want the information related to that area close to where you are. Where, where the cylinders are in comparison to the panel is, is not that significant. So the cylinders could be located in an area outside of the building where they're protected and covered. Um, and it would generally down to be voltage drop. You know, you could, you could have a significant difference between the panel and the cylinders. Yeah, it's very much determined by the application. Fantastic. So in terms of standard size panel enclosure, will this be straight swap for an old um, Sigma XT when upgrading at the end of life? We, we've improved the, the enclosure slightly to help our manufacturing and speed up manufacturing. So the box is very slightly smaller than the existing XT, but only slightly smaller. Um, so it shouldn't cause any problems with uh, direct replacement. Okay, thank you. Can you turn off the dynamic LCD function? Yeah, so what, one of the things our customers like is the dynamic LCD where it changes color depending on the status. So you'll see at the minute system normal, it's in green. Uh, if it goes into alarm, it'll go red. So it's a very easy ind indicator. But yes, if they don't want that status indicator, we can turn it off in the engineer's menus to have it just as a plain white screen. And can the panel be flush mounted? Yeah, we're, we're working on the flush mountain bezel at the moment. So again, that should be coming very soon. Brilliant. And what format can the downloaded event log be saved in? So the LE2 takes the event log download and it will save it as a CBS file, a CSV file, sorry, which can then be opened in any uh, spreadsheet such as Microsoft Excel or even in a Word document. Brilliant, guys. Well, thank you so much to Phil and Derek um, for bringing your entire fan club to this brilliant <laughs> live q and I've enjoyed every moment of it. Um, it's a fantastic session, as always. So thank you very much for joining us. And thank you guys for joining us um, and being a brilliant audience. Um, if you want to find out more about the products discussed, you can book a meeting with a representative from their exhibitor booth. Otherwise, we'll be back at 11.30 with another product demo um, from Securitum, Switzerland. And we hope to see you there.